Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma and I have this channel so that we can talk about photography, stories, and I can share encouragement to you along your own photography journey. Uh, today I wanted to talk about why I shoot most everything on my Canon RF 24 to 105 millimeter lens, f4.0. So let's talk about this lens. Never in my wildest dreams would I have thought, if you asked me 10 years ago or five years ago, that I would be shooting primarily on one, a zoom lens, as in you can change the focal length within the lens, and two, a lens that only goes down to f4.0. I'm sorry, what? Like, how are you supposed to get blurry backgrounds? And how is it supposed to be artistic and dreamy and everything that you loved about switching to a DSLR, right? Like, why not just shoot on an iPhone if you're gonna have f4.0? But for some reason, and I blame this on the coffee, I am especially energetic in this video today. So here are the things that I liked about the lens and then I'm also gonna get into the things I haven't really loved about it and we'll go from there. So um, when it comes to the things I have loved about this uh, 24 to 105 lens, one, it's been the versatility in my focal lengths. In a second, I can go from being zoomed in on a detail on someone to being completely zoomed out and get, getting like the whole story that's happening in a room. Also, I am someone who works really fast. And so being able to change focal lengths really quickly um, helps me work a lot more efficiently, whether I'm at a wedding or whether I'm shooting interior photography. So if I wanna switch from doing a wide angle shot of a room to doing like a close up detail shot, I can do it in a split second. The biggest difference for me, and this is the second perk, is that um, it goes all the way to 105 and that's for weddings. For everything else, for photo shoots with uh, families, newborns, seniors, um, commercial work, I'm probably not gonna go to 105. But on a wedding, I almost certainly will because I'm going to be at the back of a ceremony and I don't wanna be up front and up close in their faces for one reason or the other. Um, maybe I want to stealthily get like a zoomed in photo of someone across the room. And so because of that, yeah, I'm gonna want that extra reach. Um, in the past, that might have been with my 70 to 200, but because I've been experimenting with leaving it at home, I held off and I left it in my bag. Um, well, I, I took it to my weddings, but I left it in my bag. Um, and I would experiment with 105. And much to my delight, it was fine. Um, apparently 100 millimeters for me doesn't make a huge difference in terms of my process. Um, which kind of brings me to a con. When I would go to zoom in or be closer, I did find myself walking closer. And so I might have been a little bit more like in the middle of what was happening, but my focus has been a more journalistic documentary approach for weddings. And so I didn't really have a problem with being closer because the really like dynamic emotive photos happen when you're like in their face. I would say that another con with this lens is that when it gets darker, I do have to bump up my ISO. And while the ISO isn't as grainy as it could be on the EOS R6, I uh, don't love to boost my ISO still. And so I found myself shooting at lower shutter speeds and then consequently having um, some blurry photos, blurry hands, that kind of thing. It's worth it to one, have less decisions to make on that day, and um, two, have a lighter load on my body when I'm carrying things around, because every single shoe adds up. And so if I'm just having this one lens and this one camera body, I'm in much better shape than had I like had a whole bag of things crossed over my body. In the meantime, whether you are a gear minimalist or you are a gear maximalist, I would love to know what your ideal lenses are for shooting with and what your opinions are about my process. I know that it's not conventional, but it works for me. Uh, thank you guys again for watching. Um, I have linked all the gear I talked about in this video and more below in this video. I do use affiliate links, so it doesn't cost you anything extra to buy off those links, but it does give me a little kickback. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna see more of these videos, and I wish you all a great day. Bye.